Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Nathan with theebookreader.com. Uh, for this video, I'm going to talk about the new page flip feature that Amazon just introduced uh, that works with Kindle e-readers, uh, Fire tablets. They also updated the Kindle apps for iPad and Android. So the way it works is you can swipe up from the bottom or you can just uh, tap on the screen right here. And either way, you can access these page flipping features right here. If you hit the uh, second option right here with the dots, it will show you the grid with uh, the nine page view. So this is uh, a new option for Kindle e-readers. Uh, so used to, we just had this, uh, it used to have here where it just shows the one page at a time. Uh, and then you can jump chapters with this. But now we've got this new uh, multi-page option. So we can jump over to, uh, to view nine pages at once. And as you can see, it actually shows uh, your highlights as well. And it'll show if you have a bookmark added to the page. Uh, and if you have notes added, added to the page, it shows that as well. Uh, you can actually see public notes as well with the dotted underline. It's kind of hard to see on here. but uh, So this is the new view and you can scan through the pages like this. And the way it works is it always keeps your page that you were at down here. So you can just jump back to that. It actually keeps a series of pages. Uh, so you can jump back to multiple locations that you were at before. So that's how it keeps track of where you were at. And then you can just jump around to the different parts of the book. So with the text-based book like this, it's not a huge deal, but when you have like images or you know, you're using a reference type material, then uh, being able to scan through pages like this, it becomes a lot more useful uh, than just with the regular text-based book like this. But So then like I said, once you're scanning through all those pages here, say we go to chapter seven, and then we wanted to go back, we still have our old location right there uh, and our previous locations as well. So you can jump around to a whole bunch of different parts of the book and it remembers uh, where you were at. The page flip feature works a bit differently on tablets. It opens it up like this. It's sort of similar to like how it would work on magazine view. And then it has the grid view down here. You can jump over to the grid and as you can see you got your different options. So like this page has a note and it shows the note icon and then uh, it shows the highlights as well. Uh, and then like this page here in the middle has a bookmark so you can tell what pages you have marked. Um, and then you can just jump around. See as you see on the tablet here, uh, when you scan out of view of the page that you're currently on, it brings the pop-up of that page and it always shows that on there so you can jump back to where you were. So it's a little bit different than how it works on the uh, Kindle e-readers. And then obviously the sliding view is quite a bit different as well. That wouldn't work well in ink. So on their apps on the uh, Kindle Fire tablets, you got a little bit different setup here. You can also use this dial to jump to specific locations. It shows a, a grayed out number. It's like light number there and you can jump to those uh, numbers that way as well. So it's a little bit different than it is with the uh, Kindle app, but it is a cool feature to have, especially for reference type material. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Check out the ebookreader.com for some additional information. I always post uh, tutorials, how-to guides, and uh, free ebooks weekly. So uh, if you're looking for some more info, check that out. I'm also gonna be posting an updated review of the Kindle Paperwhite right here because uh, the software has changed so much since I reviewed it a year ago. And Amazon also just re released a white version and then I, a new entry-level Kindle as well that I'll also be reviewing here in a week or two. So check that out. Uh, subscribe if you like these videos. You guys have a good day.